There's a video making its rounds on the internet of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Dancing? Both Arnold and Joe Manganiello appeared on BET's 106 and Park to promote their new film. And host Bow Wow and Kesha put the guy's dance moves to the test. They started off slow with the Nene and then took it up a notch with the stanky leg. To be honest, Joe isn't half bad, but Arnold, uh, it's pretty indescribable. Just watch the video and try not to laugh. Zac Efron was seen out and about last Friday only five days after his bizarre encounter in downtown LA. And he didn't even look phased by the incident. Zac was spotted leaving a grocery store parking lot in the Los Feliz section of Los Angeles. He was smoking a vaporizer and riding shotgun while a friend of his drove. As we previously reported, Zack and a bodyguard of his were allegedly attacked by a group of transients while stranded on the side of a Los Angeles highway. While the bodyguard in question has a bit of a checkered past, Zack has not commented on the incident at all, and the police have confirmed that by the time they arrived on the scene, Zack was bleeding. So what exactly happened that night? No one really seems to know, but it would seem that Zack is either a hero or covering for his bodyguard. Chris Brown may be out of L.A. County Jail next month, but he'll have to hop on a plane to D.C. and stand trial for allegedly assaulting a man. The judge in D.C. has signed an order which commands those in charge of L.A. County to release Chris to the U.S. Marshal. The Rihanna judge has already ordered Chris to stay in prison until his April 17th D.C. assault trial, but the judge never determined how he would get there. Even though the D.C. judge imposed the order this past Wednesday, it's not a done deal just yet. The Rihanna judge has to sign off on it before the U.S. Marshal is able to grab Chris. Chris's lawyer, however, opposes the order and says Chris is more than willing to voluntarily fly to D.C. and no court order is necessary. Apparently, the judge thought it was really necessary. And finally, Kanye West was in and out of a police station last Thursday when no one was looking. And when we say in and out, we mean in less than an hour. Kanye was picked up in connection with a misdemeanor battery case for allegedly beating up a photographer at LAX. He pled no contest earlier this month and was required to turn himself in for booking. So Kanye and his lawyer went over on Thursday around 4.30 p.m. He went to the Hollywood LAPD station and got his mugshot taken, and he was also fingerprinted. The whole thing took a grand total of 49 minutes. Like we said, in and out. Kanye will now be required by law to keep his record clean for two years, and he also has to attend 24 private therapy sessions for anger management. That's it for today's celebrity news. See you next time.